What is up, guys? Shaq Maverick here. Welcome to the Talk Near Me podcast. Today, we're going to talk about the premiere of Rick and Morty's fourth season. Rick Sanchez and the Smith family is back. And I got to say, like, finally, after, like, what, several years, like, of no new episodes, I was starting to, like, trip. And come to find out, like, when they had that announcement from since, like, I think, what, back in, like, September... When they are like, yo, it's dropping on my birthday, I was like, hell yes, let's go, let's go. Best birthday present I could ask for. Even if I had a shitty day, that would have been the best. Like, that would just made that right up. I would have been just waiting for the episode and loved it. That was an amazing episode. Okay, so uh, we have like a whole new opening. So, you know, you see that, go right through it, let's skim through that now. Okay, now with the Rick family, with with the Rick, uh, yeah, Rick Sanchez and Smith family, you know, them being around. Um, since we, uh, were left off since with Rick, when, uh, you know, Jerry came back into the family, Beth and everyone else trying to, you know, put things back to how it was like season one kind of aspect, you know, to where, um, they have to more be connected together as a family or something like that, whatever they're going for. God knows what it is. That's, that's just them. Um, so mainly this whole thing we're just, um, uncovering about is just the death crystals. So there's going to be some spoilers, um, in it. So for those of you who have not seen the episode, go watch the episode, like, right now. You know, because like I said, we're going to jump into it. It's going to have some major, minor spoilers here and there, whichever decides. But I'll try to keep some things vague and detailed. So when you watch the episode anyways, after, if you can't wait, because, man... That episode. Okay, now, um, we're going to start talking about the death symbols. And we're starting off, like, with the, um, the Morty and his grandpa, like, came across these death crystals after, like, for a fun adventure, basically. And for Morty, he got his hands on it, and he saw for, like, asking his grandpa, like, what's it about? And basically, death crystals are, like, you seeing the future of how many scenarios you die. Rick's just like, you know, those things are worthless. He only needs it for, <laughs> apparently, just when it comes to a gunfight. You know, that's just about it. After that, though, they're just completely worthless to him. But he can capitalize it off for many people who do rely on those kind of things, who are just obsessed with it. Um, so, yeah, that's, there's that. So, for one, when Morty grabs it, he sees one of the scenarios where he dies. It's a scenario where he died and, like, diffuse, um, just diffusing a bomb when he cut the wrong wire. Uh, another scenario, he chokes on his drink, trying to act cool when he was shocked to find out something. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but I find it funny, especially with like the background, like these two chicks actually hooking up and just getting their freak on. Like that's crazy. Then you got Morty. Um, he was trying to help Rick with some sort of radioactive tank, but fails, and he just falls on it, or it just falls on him, and then he just yeah completely melts from that. Like it was just gruesome. Um, and another scenario is him getting his head stuck in the elevator. I don't know how the hell he managed that, but it's Morty. You know, he, he is Jerry's son, so shit. Can't say that that you can't see that coming. You can't see it coming for the guy. And then him driving, and I'm trying to figure out is that even legal? Like the dude's like 15, right? It's like 15 and a half, or just turned 15. Because if he was 14, like since season one, but he I think it was like an age past tense. Um, but yeah, he's driving. He looks a little older, but like not really. He don't look older, but I'm assuming maybe he's older in this time, this timeline, wherever he that scenario could happen. Um, then you have some other instance when he, when I don't know that there was something, but I could probably talk about it in a minute. But anyway, there's something to do where like he his face just got totally bashed right in, and uh, God knows whatever that was, but it looked like a fatality. Um, I find it funny though. And this is like a low-key hash at these sci-fi superhero shows like Doctor Strange, you know, looking at the future, seeing like one way to beat Thanos or like Barry seeing himself die like over a billion times and like this upcoming crisis DC Universe crossover. It looks crazy, by the way. That, that's an insane show. Like I, I, I highly recommend it. Um, but I understand when Rick says something to clarify Morty about the crystals on how these things are possible. He was like, uh, and I quote, your future stems from your present. So basically is if he just lives, you know, just, just live life as it is, the outcome just changes, like, constantly. Like, it's just all about probability at this point. It's, like, mathematical. So we see some scenarios where, for Rick, when he touches the crystals, you see where he dies and has many different scenarios. There's one where he was a pickle, and this is interesting now, pay attention to it, where he's a pickle... But I guess it's an instance where the dog might have ate him before he got stuck down the drain, which I find weird. 
Then the second one is where Squanchy rips him in half. Think about that real quick. Like, damn. Like, um, and then there was another one too where, like, he was eaten. Like, his face was eaten off or something. I don't even know what the hell that one was about. But dang, to, like, watch how he got shot in the head, but then moved Morty to cover was, like, pretty badass. And then just deciding the whole outcome with these, um, these group he came across. Um, scrimming right for it before I move on to that. I gotta say, like, shout out to my, my dude. Coming back to life. Like, not coming back to life. The know that he's alive. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. He He's alive. So, like, I, I don't understand how Rick doesn't even trip about that. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, no, never mind. That's not his best friend. Like, uh, bird person was. Never mind. Anyway, yeah, that. And what I find, too, to explore is interesting is that, so, for when Rick got turned to Pickle, are we seeing this as... Him being where, you know, like, is he, what's the word I'm looking for? Is he like, did, did he did that before in this episode? Or, or is this where he's going to do it again after? Like in the coming episodes or in a, in a scenario or, or, or instance where we might just not see it on screen. That's the thing. The Crystal said they predict your future. So if that's true, then in theory then, or some sort of theory, we can start exploding on the internet eventually to where... Rick himself then, this episode is before he turns to Pickle. So that means the episodes themselves are like, you know, canonical, canonical, but at the same time, like, they're just arbitrary. Not arbitrary, but just arranged in, like, different timelines. Or there, they could be really much like we're not following the C-137 Rick. You see, like, completely. But I think there was someone who's already talking about that kind of theory already. It's either where we're not following him completely or and some of the episodes just happen but some happens before and some happens ahead and we just happen to see them in a certain different order each season which i find just interesting um the next one is where for him um where the radioactivity acid like him and morty was playing with it it spilled on the both of them and they both died there was also one where rick is eating candy bar and then it was like a venus alien fly trap it's basically if rick stood in the place High probability of him dying is that the Phoenix flytrap will just kill him. And then that's just that. These are just scenarios that are just unseen. So Rick was trying to clarify that the more to understand. That's just, you know, these things aren't certain to happen. So he doesn't rely on that kind of stuff. Um, but Morty, on the other hand, just jumps to the conclusion and just starts doing his own thing, apparently. Just snagging one of the crystals to himself without telling Rick. And then trying to follow this future where he sees the love of his life, you know, and he just dies in, in their arm, you know. And Rick was trying to let him know about just taking control of his own life and not worry about it. Um, then something just happens to where they're separated. And for Morty himself, he just continues trying to find a way to connect with Jessica. Um, anyhow, it's like long story short throughout it. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, so then you have like another scenario for like when Morty had it fast forwarding where after he saw that that um that future where he could die in another person's arms um yeah like he had like a allergic uh reaction of some sort where his head was exploded then you had another one where he's behind a fence and he electrocuted himself to death then another one was he's eaten alive by some baby dinosaurs then he fought a witch then the kid grew old and somehow he died of a stroke which sad and like this dude has like some worst lucks ever in, in these kind of scenarios i know the, the future it, it shows your future at least how high you die but jesus like some these are some very humdrum ways to die it's like the yeah, kid's kind of boring without rick you know oh and did anyone ever saw spot that like endorsement or like a cameo with the margaritaville um just for like people in the bahamas to pay attention to but where did i notice to where it says Margaritaville on Jessica's amulet, you know, uh, her old age, like Morty seeing her in the future. And like, I got to say them sly dogs, like it makes me wonder. So is it referring to the Bahamas one, Margaritaville, or is it something else? But then I see the symbol where it has like the coconut tree or palm, palm tree. So it might be that kind of thing. So who knows? You know, um, I know Morty. I mean, goddamn Morty. It's a nice cameo, by the way. But goddamn, like, I don't know. It's like, it's like, he's, he's still a kid, you know, he, I just find it like it's a dick move. It's irrational. You know what I mean? That you can't even um, bring back your grandpa. You know what I mean? Not because it's a grandpa, but to bring back Rick to to keep things going. Like 
but he's really fixated on knowing these probabilities of having that future. But he has like so much ahead of him right now to even not even worry about that. The what happened me trip was over like something they had, and I like to say it, but then I don't know that that, that might that might spoil it a little bit too much. So I'll have to keep that out. Yeah, you know, I'll keep that out and just move along. But something interesting when you see the episode and go watch it, you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, pretty interested to know what that is. But it's it's an operation that. Um, you know, they had before, but he, he apparently he, he brought back. He brought it back. He brought it back, everyone. Um, then we could say hello to Mr. Meeseeks. Oh, yeah. Mr. Meeseeks himself. God damn, I gotta say. Mr. Meeseeks. Funny as ever. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, fast forwarding. Morty comes across as bully, basically, and um, he sees scenarios where the bully himself is going to kill him in, like, God knows how many different ways. There was one where the bully, like, just decapitates his head with a bloody axe. Uh, yeah, there was one where he catches Morty in the shower, and we all know how that, that scenario ends. Um, he drives a pipe down his throat. I think at the beginning when I was trying to mention what it was, but when I look at it again, when I was watching the episode, I was like, oh, okay, so that was actually the bully that they were showing at the beginning of the episode drive the pipe down his throat. There's even one where he threw him in the garbage, threw a garbage can over his, his face, and just stomped on it to uh, like slice his neck and half. Very unrealistic, but sure, somebody has that ability. Um, and then he also traps him under the garbage, like disposals, large sets. I don't even know how the hell he did that, but okay. And then Rick's hologram um, comes in place to try and let Morty know. What, what about it? He had like a bucket of chicken. Um, but he's trying to let Morty know to what he needs to do to reconnect back with Rick. But uh, Morty's just still fixated on trying to find this this uh future on ending with the love of his life so it's crazy if you don't know what the love of his life is i'm just trying to you know not say but i'm pretty sure everyone could caught on to it so yeah whatever um so long story short of it marty morty farts the authorities and dudes just playing around all these sci-fi shit they're just lying around in rick's garage and somehow just got acquittal for terrorizing the city later and that's not even the funny part. What's funny was when I was reading the subtext on their universe version of CNN, and it says the judge of Akira Boy commits suicide. Like, what the fuck? You'll get it when you watch it, but goddamn. Uh, jumping for all that, like, the episode was just amazing. It was just fantastic. Um, it was very well season one warm friendly. I, I love it. Um, it, it, was, it, was, it was incredible. I definitely recommend that you check it out, you know? Um... It was, like, a very awesome experience. Like, wow. Like, uh, I see that they, they didn't lose the touch. And, like, unlike many shows, it just kind of lose the drive sometime, going so many seasons, you know, and still keeping to how the characters are. It's pretty awesome. Um, I got to say, though, for, for when it came to, like, the, the episode was just amazing overall. And then uh, I try not to uncover much details, but go watch it. Stream it on Adult Swim app, you know, whatever streaming services you could use, like Hulu, uh, whatever, cable, God knows whoever used that anymore. Jerry Comment was nasty to the T, by the way, but Summer, Jesus. Go watch the episode. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Just said my thoughts about the episode. It was nice. I forgot the title name. Something recall, whatever. Rick something. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh, yeah, again, Summer, Jesus, no, she just ruined it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, definitely be watching the next episode and more seasons for another 100 years to come. I'm Shaq Maverick. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.